I'm not actually as red as the camera is portraying, okay? I've been on the beach a couple of days, been snorkeling like Rambo in it, mate, with my son, underwater, holding my breath for about 12 minutes, okay? On half breath. Rambo in it, okay? But yeah, I, I know, I look, I look slightly red. It's, it's fine, it's really fine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site. How the devil are you, mate? We've got a brand new channel. Absolutely, it's called into the darkness <laughs> Make sure you go to their channel subscribe and do the thing because it's a brand new channel mate They've got 446 subs. Let's get them to a thousand at least a thousand. Okay, and also uh, Tom Powell my old editor from um, Casper site twitch channel, which is no longer <laughs> Right another to do with him. He's an epic editor All right, but he's also involved in this channel So make sure you go over there and do the thing can I also just say thank you so much for giving the Sunday fun day videos a chance mate The last two Sundays we've been doing like random like random videos. Okay world's scariest swimming pools or world's like um, most dangerous swimming pools and the world's worst tattoos and it's so nice seeing like some of the messages saying this is such a nice little change up and I thought I'd give this a chance I absolutely love it this is really funny so thank you so much man I'm absolutely loving it and they're gonna I'm gonna keep on doing them every Sunday let's get on with the videos shall we this video is called top five scary videos that are truly terrifying they better be without further ado da dilly day let's do this Going into the darkness! Don't hyperventilate. Into the darkness. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today <laughs> we'll be looking over five truly terrifying videos. Hope you're ready, because we're about to take another deep dive into the darkness. It sounds like his voice should be on some sort of nature program. And now we look at the wildebeest. The wildebeest is burrowing, burrowing for his life. <laughs> Number five. Come on, let's go. Beast got a good voice, got a good voice for it, I must the say. The first video from our list today comes from a Japanese YouTuber called Kaneki. Kaneki regularly uploads videos within the horror and paranormal areas. He recently purchased a house which he states is cursed by the grudges of the samurai. In this video, we're about to show you he conducts an investigation in the cursed home. It wasn't long into this investigation that Kaneki starts to hear some noises. Don't know, mate. Have a look at it. I can't see shit, by the way. It's quite dark. Whoa. Fucking hell! No one's home. Good evening. I won't be saying good evening, mate. I'll be like, get the fuck away from me, mate. Oh, shit in hell. Here we go. That's better. We're closed. Rambo it, mate. Go on, just open it. Go on. Come on! Nani? Mate, I would be shitting it if that happened. If this was genuine, right? And he's sitting there and the fucking thing's rattling, the whole place is coming down, mate. Hey? Eh? I'd be shitting a bro. I, I would be ram, but most people would be absolutely shitting it right now. As you can see, something starts banging quite aggressively. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's carry on. <laughs> on the other side of the doors, the sliding doors have a glass panel in the middle, which allows you to see through to the other side. 
it certainly looks like nobody else could be on the other side of those doors. So what could this be? I don't know. Eventually, Kaneki decides to take a look to see if he is truly alone. Probably not. Shit, mate! Uh, I, 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 I would be like, all right, you are starting to really piss me off now, mate. Uh, Come on. That's it, that's it, you got it. That's it, just keep your light on. Because I can't see Jack Diddley squat. Oh, mate, it's gonna be the ring bitch, isn't it? It's gonna be the ring bitch or the grudge bitch, one of the two. Don't know we know. Eh? Yeah. Kaneki opens the door Shit to- in hell. Eh? Freaky deaky, mate. Find nobody is there. After searching the room next door, he re-enters the room he came from. It's not long until he starts to hear the noises again, this time directly above him. What's going on in there? Is there snow in or something? Oh god, he's got a headache now, which means that like he's getting possessed. Mm -hmm. Oh mate, it's yeah, 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 yeah. It's coming quite close to you now, mate. Like, how many steps do you need to take? How big's this building? He goes to check it out, but he gets an unexpected call. It's coming to you right. Like maximum footsteps, please. Oh, no, 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 Tukara, 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 tukara. Eh? Tuko, 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 tuko. Tuko, tuko, tuko. I don't know, mate. Eh? Mate, those steps, like, they, they, they've seen better days. Watch it. Be careful, mate, for Christ's sake. We're gonna see it. We're gonna see it, mate. It's gonna be like this creepy little fucking grudge bitch, I know it is. Kaneki searches upstairs but finds absolutely nothing. Therefore, he decides to go back downstairs. But once again, our presence makes itself known. Huh? Again, he ventures upstairs but finds nothing. What do you make of this footage? Maybe this building is truly cursed, as Kaneki states. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Oh man, I, I wanted to see something. I wanted to see a shadow bastard or something. Section. Ah. Okay, we're warming up, mate. Great editing by Tom. Great editing and sound, mate. Hey, let's continue. Number four. A guy called Curtis. That was a little bit of a sound of the grudge, mate. Don't like it. And his uncle run a YouTube channel called Purgatory Adventures. Okay. They investigate the Almeida and District Heritage Museum, located in Canada. Now, this building was not originally a museum, but a home and was built in 1908. Many families lived in the building over the years, and between the 1920s and 1930s, it was used as a hospital. It was opened as a museum in the 1990s and filled with many artifacts that reflect the history of Almeida 
and its surrounding... Those old photos always freak me out, though, right? Do they freak you out? There's old photos, the black and white ones? They are. Something, so, something dodgy about them. Areas. The museum is home to many spirits in which the locals and board members of the museum have literally encountered. Many reports of a man in blue coveralls have been spotted. Other occurrences such as the noise of a crying baby, the apparition of a woman, the sounds of footsteps and lights flickering have all taken place within the museum's walls. The Purgatory Adventures team have been to this museum once before, stating so much had happened, they just had to come back again. Ugh. Whilst well into their investigation, they set up an SLS camera, which is a camera that detects any humanoid bodies within your environment. Let's it's check out licky, yeah, It's a super licky sexy, mate. Super licky sexy. Get it right. Let's go. They caught. Is the left of the room point down there or was on that corner? And then... Yeah, and then it was Whoa. gone. Whoa. There it is. There it is again. Can you wave to us if that's you? This is like directly right in front of me. Can you can you wave if that's you? What? Oh, it just picked up its hand. Can you wave? It picked up its hand? What was it? Fucking drop its hand on the floor or something? Can you wave to us? Wave! Can you wave? This one is like directly right in front of me. Go closer to it, mate. Yeah, I know. Can you wave? Wave like it's waving! It's <laughs> waving! Look at his hand! The figure of a person appears right in front of them. Get the lights on, let's see, man. On their SLS camera, it's Curtis really asks the figure to wave. And shortly after, the figure seemingly begins to wave. Can you reach for my hand? Look at Oh, mate, just imagine if it touches it. Swoop, bring your hand away. I'm blue, da -da 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 -da. Can you reach for it? You, reach for it! Hang on, I, I've got to move my shit, mate. Sorry, I've got to move my shit, sorry. What the hell? Can you reach for it? Come on! Oh, he's trying to get away from you. Look at him. Reach. Reach for my hand. Oh, there he is. Shh. Whoa. Oh, what'd you feel, mate? What'd you feel? What'd you feel? There it is. Oh, I just... I felt that. What? I just touched I felt it. What I did felt you feel? It. Now he's trying to get away from What's you. What's up with his fucking yeah, shoulder and that, mate? Curtis then asked the figure to reach out to him. And again, the figure seemingly reaches of his hand. Curtis responds to this by saying he felt that, indicating That's what she said. <laughs> okay. He had felt the ghostly hand touch. Do you think Curtis and his uncle were really encountering a spirit on the SLS camera? We're looking forward to hearing your thoughts on this one. Ooh. Number three. The video we're about to show you comes from the YouTube channel, The DMK Family. Now, before we begin this channel, it isn't exactly a paranormal or horror channel. See, these are the ones which are the best, mate. The, the ones which aren't paranormal are usually the best because it's unexpected. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back, back to our channel. channel. It's, it's like, I, I, I'm fucking talking. You talk after me. In fact, they've never posted anything in the paranormal field before this video. Mm. The DMK Family, are a family of six from Arizona who regularly upload vlogs to their channel. On one of their vlogs, the family all go for a meal when something very strange catches their attention. Let's take a look. What? The <laughs> what? What? It's moving. It is not that dizzy. It's condensation. It's condensation on the bottom of the bottle. Uh, on, on the bottle. Have you not ever had that before? That, in fact, that's not moving that far at all. A lot of the time, it will just move quite quickly. As well as that shiny table. It's a conversation. Oh. Like, we're not touching it. There's nothing on it. Look, there's literally nothing there. Yeah, look how, look how much fucking... There's more varnish on that table than a fucking tin of varnish, mate. <laughs> Yeah, it's super smooth. <laughs> There's nothing there. It's just maximum no friction. Look, it's still going. There you go. Did you show the camera? Can I know Yeah, there's nothing there. Look. Oh. What? <laughs> Dude, 
It's not. It's just. It's just sliding, mate. <laughs> As we can see, our bottle starts to mysteriously move all by itself. Afterwards, both the parents, Manny and Mimi, speak to a staff member at the restaurant who tells them, Yes, this place is haunted. It was built in a cemetery. <laughs> they think the building dates back to when the area was a mining zone. The oh, staff members. Mate, if he says cemetery, I was like, I would be like, Yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. States they also believe someone was killed in this very building. Do you think this footage could potentially be proof of ghost activity? No. Or do you think there is a more logical explanation to yes. why this empty bottle moved all by itself? We'll leave this one for you to decide. Oh. Reddit is home to many scary videos. We've managed to pick out two very eerie ones for you okay, to look good. at today. These two videos are both from users that insist they've captured a ghostly figure on camera. The first video comes from the Reddit username Big Establishment 196 The user works at a gas station and says this is proof his workplace is haunted. Okay, proof. This is proof. Let's go. The user states, Every morning at 3.45 a.m., this happens. Morning, 3.45 a.m. It's gonna be weird and creepy, but it will happen, just wait. At 3.45 a.m., this happens every time. At 3.45 a.m. Okay. I'm gonna catch this weird, weird thing going on. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is, I told you. What the As fuck? As we can see, the user records what looks like a see-through like figure of a person walking by the gas station. The uploader goes on to say he insists this isn't a prank or a reflection on the glass, nor is it edited footage. He also goes on to state he believes this ghost figure may be stuck in some sort of loop as this happens every single day at the very exact time of 3.45 a.m. The next what? That's fucking weird, man. I was just thinking to myself, mate, like, you know, these... Uh, the, the, the footage lately has just been a little bit, bit dry. But that's fucking weird, mate. That is really weird. This clip comes from the user, High Stakes Girl. Her post states, while I was fast asleep, this dark and trans... I, if, like, I would be out there the next night at 3.45 and, like, stay, like, and, st and stand where the, this dude walks past, this ghost walks past. Find out, mate. Get some tools out there and stuff, you know? Get a stupid licky sexy out there. Lucent figure walk through my hallway and into my bedroom. Oh, fucking hell. Mate, okay, yeah, right, it was right here. Hopefully, hopefully you can see it, mate. What the fuck? We can clearly see a dark figure moving across the hallway and into the user's bedroom. What? The figure was captured on a ring camera, which are popular cameras commonly used in households. Just imagine you were in the situation. You woke up one morning, checked your CCTV camera, and saw this figure walking across your hallway straight into your bedroom. Now that's a very scary thought indeed. How would you react? Fucking Rambo it, mate. That's what I would do. I'd be like, who the hell do you think you're not anymore? Huh? Get the F out, mate. Number one. Hopefully gonna go out of the bag. Yamakyu is a Japanese YouTuber that uploads some of the most terrifying footage. How would you feel if you were woke up in the dead of the night to a wailing voice coming from outside your house? Mm. Well, this is something Yamakyu has actually managed to capture on camera. Oh God. What the fuck is that? Oh, man. 
right. Oh, mate, this is straight from fucking Silent Hill, this is. Oh. Get a fucking job! <laughs> Granny? Is that you out there? That's it, mate. Fucking Rambo. I like the, I like his big steps. Like, I, I've had enough of this shit, mate. Rambo in it. Come on. Get out there. That's it. Where is it? Where is it? Who are you? Yeah. Yamaku investigates the moaning sound that can be heard, but as we all could clearly see, nobody was there. This is not the first time that this has happened. In fact, Yamaku experienced this horrifying wailing on a frequent basis. What? Oh, fucking hell, mate. Imagine hearing that when you're trying to get to sleep. That, that's either a ghost or some crackhead out on the street. Just fucking go home, mate. Who are you? Who are you? No one is here. Oh Christ! Jump over there and uh, just investigate, please, mate. Please. That's it. Jump over there. No, it's it's like it's under you or something. That's it. That's it. Yet again, what? the groaning can be heard, but once again, nothing is there. That's weird. Oh, fucking hell. That's weird as shit. Go closer. Yeah. This Shit footage hell. is truly bizarre. Where are these cries coming from? Is this the spirit of the house's previous owner, who Yamaku says died of an illness inside the home? Bloody Maybe hell. the previous owner is angrier that Yamaku now lives in his home. Or maybe this is the sound of a spirit in pain. Whatever it is, it is truly horrific. Yamaku has many more videos of this phenomena and other paranormal activity. Head over to his YouTube channel for some more creepy videos Yamaku. just like this one. I will do, thank you so much. Thanks for watching another video from us. We are still a fairly new channel, but if you haven't seen any of our previous uploads, be sure to check them out. Yeah! We'll be back again soon with some more scary content for you. Until then, try to get some sleep tonight, if you can. Nice. Get the merch at kespersite.com. Just Rambo it. There you go, mate, into the darkness. A slow burner, I must admit, a slow burner, but come the end, mate, they were getting proper freaky deaky. I'll be definitely going back to the channel again, okay? What do you reckon, mate? Did you like? Anyway, if you did like, leave a little like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and do the thing to my channel too. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.